Hi, it's AD Tech Videos here, and today I'll be showing you how to decode your HDCDs using a software decoder. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to rip all the tracks from the CD as 16-bit uncompressed WAV files. You can do this with a program like Exact Audio Copy, which is mentioned in the description. There's a link to where you can download it. The next thing you want to do is you want to download hdcd.zip, which is also mentioned in the description. You want to extract hdcd.exe from that zip and put it in the same folder as the files from the CD that you wish to decode. So the next thing you want to do is you want to open a command prompt and you want to navigate to the folder where your music files are stored. So you go CD music and I want to decode some tracks from the legendary American rock band The Cars. So I'm going to go CD The Cars Greatest Hits. Now I've got hdcd.exe in this folder, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the contents of the folder so I can see what track I want to decode. So say for example I might want to decode Candio I reckon. So I'll put hdcd.exe and then I'll put a less than sign. And on the other side of the less than sign I will put the name of the file which I wish to decode. So I'll just go up here and I'll go 06 candy o.wav and then I'll put a greater than symbol. After this I will put the name of the file which I want the decoded data to go into. So I'll go candio decoded.wav. Now the interesting thing is the file which has not been decoded, the one that you ripped from the HDCD, is obviously a 16-bit WAV file because that's what music is stored on on CDs. But the decoded file is a 24-bit WAV file so it'll take up a little bit more space. So I'll just press the enter key on this and it'll say HDCD detected so that's good and then it'll give me a bit of statistics and now when I go into my music folder the decoded Candio track will be there as Candio decoded.wav. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe if you want more tech related videos like this and like the video if you like it and dislike it if you dislike it.